In this lesson, we're going to cover a whole building case study in eQuest. And rather than beating around the bush, let's just jump straight in. What are we modeling? We're modeling basically a two-story office building that's laid out something like this. It's best if you can see the building, and so here you can see the building with the roof off. So we're modeling the exterior of the building as it is and we're also modeling the interior zones as they exist. Speaking of the interior zones, we have them laid out in a PDF which we'll get to in a minute and here's a cutout from that PDF. If we look at the top of the page, there's four offices all along the same wall and on the left there's offices nearly on the same wall. What we're going to do, and you certainly would not have to do this, but for simplicity's sake we're going to take these rooms and combine them into thermal blocks. We're sticking to the ASHRAE 90.1 2007 definition of thermal blocks and that's only relevant if you're using this case study as the precursor to the lead case study but even so for any energy case study where the load design is not as important you can use thermal blocks because Basically, these rooms all have the same parameters, and rather than wasting time modeling them individually, if you lump them all together, it makes the simulation faster, it makes data entry faster, and it makes uh, troubleshooting faster. So what do we need before we begin? Well, we already looked at the building, but one thing that we would need is a PDF of the building. Now typically we have these printed out, but we have not just the PDF of the building, but the mechanicals and typically the architecturals. In this exercise, it's been somewhat pre prepped for you, though this is something that you may want to do ahead of time when you're doing a real model. And you'll see what we did in a moment. So we have two floors and they're nearly identical. We have equipment specified. The building is located in Chicago, and everything else we have pretty much specified. If not, we're going to be using the defaults. In reality, you could go through this, and you could continually work on it to your heart's content, and so eventually we have to make some good assumptions. The other thing that we want is we want to make sure that we have the building drawings. You wouldn't necessarily have to have this in eQuest, but this will make your implementation of the building probably 10 times faster. So with that said, let's jump into eQuest. And we're using eQuest 363. You 